everyone. I'm really thrilled to be speaking to the incredibly talented Swedish actress, Hedda Stinstedt. She plays the role of Nina in one of my favorite TV shows ever called The Restaurant. We binge watched it all summer and the final season is premiering on Amazon Prime. December 25th. Oh, here she is. Hi, Hedda. So Hedda, you won the Cristal Award, right? For, for your role in the restaurant. Can you just summarize what it's about? It's a drama set in the 19, it starts off in the 1940s and it goes all the way to the 70s. Uh, and we follow this family that owns a restaurant in Sweden. I'm the youngest daughter of the family, my character Nina, and she meets a uh, kitchen boy and they fall madly in love and uh, it's uh, it's really a Romeo and Juliet kind of Titanic story where you know it's, uh, it's forbidden love it's actually the, mo the most expensive show ever made in Sweden it's like so. no pressure no <laughs> pressure at all also being a period drama you really get to relive all the trends which I think is very interesting and with makeup as well you know you learn so much about all the different tricks they had back in the day. And at one point we read about how Marilyn Monroe put on her makeup with her team and they really were into sculpting and stuff like that. Or that's, you know, very trendy today. See, Marilyn started it all. I think it's the most beautiful aesthetic though, the 50s and the 40s. With both hair and makeup, they really did, they adapted sort of to the female face. I think in a bit and hairstyles they they're all really beautiful and my mom and my dad they're they're like old hippies basically well so your parents are hippies my parents are kind of hippies too is that why you like love makeup so much because that's that's it for me so i grew up with no makeup in the house basically or oh, she had like one like lipstick that was like old and she, we only used like one soap for basically everything but which is worked pretty well it looks like <laughs> well, thank you. Have you ever been to Cow Parfumery? Yeah, I love that. They sell a lot of clean makeup. I have some brands that I really love using. It's a, a one American brand called Sunday Riley. It's beautiful. It's really clean. Yeah, I do enjoy clean brands because when you're in a production and they use so much on you and you know they just you know remove, put on, remove, put on. When I was doing this witch and I had all these like scarifications on my face and I broke out. And oh. uh, so they gave me this little calendula. Oh yeah, um, that's, super, that's super calming for your skin. Yeah, so oh. that feels very Nordic to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I very like Nordic. that, that's a good little tip for, cause it is, calendula is a very calming ingredient. One of my very good friends, Christine Siederholm lives in Stockholm. Eileen Kling. I'm wearing her sweater as we speak. Uh, totem. Is, totem. I'm wearing, yeah. I'm wearing her jeans. I know her husband's Kalle. little sister. Yeah, I know his little sister Mimi. We grew up together and he, you know, he was a model and he was much older and he was always around the house and we were always like, hi, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Is your brother gonna be at home today? Oh my um, gosh. Do you know the brand Skultuna? Yeah. Look at what we made with Skultuna. Oh, I love it. Do you ever wear foundation? Yeah, I do. I do. I, I tend to get a little bit, you know, red over my nose area and sometimes I break out on my shin and thing. It's crazy because you sent me this cross Atlantic and you managed to nail my skin color. <laughs> nice. I can tell you're a good makeup artist. <laughs> you do pick up some tips along the way, actually. Yeah, you know, how can you not? I'm freestyling now, Gucci, because I don't have a mirror. So I'm doing this like mirror in my phone. <laughs> no, it's okay. So you're gonna have to tell me if it's wrong. Do you usually use foundation, just like work from the middle of my face because I do uh -huh. tend to get like quite rosy cheeks and not, a little bit rosy around my nose but then I tend not to use so much like uh, you know in my on my forehead and things like that or just like blend really well towards you out. also you don't need it everywhere you know it's kind of like keeping your skin fresh and the integrity of your skin and just kind of 
correcting where you need it and then adding tone back in. So this is the oh, yeah. called uh, Pour de Peche. Yeah, Pour de Peche. Okay, so then you take your blender brush and you swivel it around and it's it's basically a it gives you kind of contour warmth and luminosity all in one in the brush this is the blender brush it was made especially for this product so you wow. find your cheekbone and you just kind of follow follow it so you can use it also on your eyes it gives you some you know nice definition and warmth but I just like how easy it is and it really frames your face. Yeah, this is lovely. Thank yeah, you. I use a lot of bronze on my, cause I have hooded eyes. So you, you can't really see a crease basically. Um, so you have to learn how to put makeup on a hooded eye sort of, because it's not like none of the makeup tutorials when you grow up is made for a hooded eye. <laughs> With Nina in the restaurant, we did a lot of like just a super thin eyeliner that sort of begins at the end of the eye. What we did is just put like a, a cat eye at the end, basically, but nothing sort of in. Or you can work a lot more with shadows. So it's like um, a brown, really soft pen instead of, you know, a, a, a normal cat liner it could be a version that sort of can give, still give you the sort of same look without actually putting any eyeliner on. That's a, actually a really pretty look for a holiday party. You know, just gorgeous yeah. skin, mascara, and a beautiful lip. The summer half of the year, I wear a lot of lipstick and a lot of just almost like not even mascara. I wear nothing on my eye, just glow. And then choose a really poppy color for my mm -hmm. lips. And then the, like during winter, you tend to use a lot more eye makeup and like yeah. shadows. The makeup team and the team who made all of our clothing, I mean, they're so good and they're so tuned in to how actors work. And so it's funny you should mention the colors because we, we really chose colors uh, for Nina, uh, depending on her mood in the script. Mm -hmm. So. She's red when she's happy. When she's unhappy, she wears blue. And we really try to work with that. And so she's blue when she was with Eric and she's red when she's with Kalle. And she, when she's alone, she's white and cream colored. Let's try the mascara just a, just a little bit. Oh, pretty. Yeah, this is so pretty. pretty. I think I'm gonna go with the, like, the warmer red. It's actually very handy that they come in like all the colors in the same because sometimes I tend to like switch colors <laughs> during the middle of an evening. It's fun, right? It's I think it's nice to have all of them together because you may just quickly want to have a different vibe. This is like really a uh, like an updated the restaurant look. I tend to like smudge a lot with my yeah. lipstick. I feel like it's so much easier to also like control the lipstick during the night if you if you start it up with like a smudged edge you know what i mean it's also very it feels very modern now to have that sort of dabbed on feeling i like when lipstick also feels a little bit like you know you drank some red wine or you know you ate yeah. something dark and i you know because it's also how i i love when it's sort of when you also use makeup to sort of tell a, a little story and and it could you know it, it makes you feel sexy and then people you know look at your mouth and that this has something to do with food and sex and you know yeah it can be very sort of alluring men had that you can it attack a tidal they were super trevlig to interessant to prata med dig och och höra vad du håller på med och alla liksom roliga grejer du har kommande. Sorry, that was a lot in Swedish. I was just, <laughs> um, I got again very excited. I just wanted to say to Hedda that I will absolutely be tuning into the restaurant on December 25th. I can't wait and thank you again and be safe and be well in, in Stockholm. Thank you. thank you so much for having me, Gucci. Tack så jättemycket. Ja, tack så mycket. Puss. Puss. Hej då. Thank <laughs> you.